All right. So it is Friday, July 24th. Is that right? Nope. Friday, July 28th. I've uh, been at this for about a week now. Been working on the car. And I'm getting close to where I'm going to start painting. I'm going to start with uh, epoxy primer, followed by 2K, and then, of course, the base and the clear. I'm working off this Craftsman air compressor. It's, uh, gosh, it's 21 years old. I got it in 1996. It's a really good uh, 5 horsepower Briggs and Stratton with, I believe, a 30 gallon tank on it. Uh, I'm really happy with it. It's served me well uh, for the time I've had it. The one thing that I'm concerned about, uh, and I've always noticed, is that when I'm using it, it does produce a lot of water. A lot of water comes from it. And, you know, the, the pump is right on top of the tank and it gets really hot. Uh, and when I'm using it uh, continuously, I have to drain it uh, two, if not three times a day. Uh, and when I'm sanding on the car, you know, I can feel from the exhaust that there's some moisture coming out quite a bit. In fact, even when I use just a little blow gun on the pump. So one of my main concerns to avoid when I'm painting, of course, is uh, my air quality. To have the best possible air quality I can get. So I put a lot of thought into how to do this. I've, seen a bunch of videos on YouTube and everything. I've seen how some people will cool their air uh, after it leaves the pump before it goes into the tank. I think that's a great idea. Um, I know it reduces the relative humidity, uh, but there's still uh, humidity in that cooler air. Um, I just don't have that option. And I've seen some of the products that they have for sale, uh, the air dryers, oil separators. Um, they're, uh, they run pretty expensive, unless you, of course, you go to Harbor Freight, and you know that that stuff's not really good. So, after reading a whole lot, I decided to make my own. Uh, combined several ideas from some of the uh, online uh, YouTube videos that I've seen, and I think I've come up with a good system. Uh, it's a multiple stage filtration. Uh, I may actually uh, put my air coming in to this system that I built uh, through uh, a cool bath of some sort, uh, an ice chest with a coiled uh, 3 8 inch air hose. Not sure yet. I may or may not do that. But anyway, uh, let me show you what I've come up with. And it's completed now. So, this is it. Of course, I made the table uh, to roll around so I can have all my paint supplies on it and uh, be able to get around. Um, you're probably saying, why do I have so many uh, filters there? Well, I'm going to explain this to you. I probably could have gotten away with just uh, two of the red ones, uh, but I decided to go ahead and use uh, three, and I'll explain to you why. So I have one of these coming off of my air compressor. This is the regulator, and uh, it's also uh, a moisture separator. Okay, uh, these are Craftsman. All right, this particular one comes with a 40 micron, um, I guess, bronze or copper bronze uh, mesh inside. So it separates uh, water uh, down to 40 microns. Now I have one of these right off of my pump. Uh, that is my compressor. So it'll go through that one first before it even gets to this one. So I'll have 40 microns at the compressor and then again another 40 microns here. I put a ball valve on here uh, so I can control my uh, pressure in this system uh, if I want it on or off. Uh, I'll be hooking up to this 5 foot uh, tube here. Now I picked this up from Harbor Freight and you know I just I don't know if that's a gimmicky thing or not I think it's a weak spot in my system. I may actually change that out just to a regular tube. Uh, we'll see what I do. I, I don't really like that. 
but anyway, I have I'm going from a three eighths tube. Uh, this is all three eighths. Okay. Uh, when the air comes through this 40 micron filter, it's going to come to the second uh, filter here. Now the difference here is only that I took the uh, canister off and I removed the filter that was on there and I was able to purchase online a 5 micron filter. So there's a little cylindrical copper 5 micron filter in here. Same uh, theory, it's a uh, water separator, oil separator too for that matter. Uh, and I'm going from 40 microns over here to 5. So once I go to this third filter, because that's what this is, what I did here was I reversed the filter itself. And you can kind of see the air arrows are pointing that way. So I have the air coming in so that the air comes in through the center, through the middle of this filter that's in there. And, and that is a coalescing filter. That will remove uh, oil vapor, any other leftover water vapor. Uh, and it is 0 0.01 microns. So 40 microns to 5 microns to 0 0.01 microns. And finally, over here, this is just simply a um, water filtration system, the kind that you would use uh, at home. All right. And I believe this is actually rated for 120 PSI. Um, and what I've done with it is I've used a piece of PVC tubing in the middle of it with a coupler and the leftover 40 micron filter that I had from one of these I screwed onto the bottom of that so and I filled it with desiccant beads of course these are color changing desiccant beads so the air will come in through here, it will go through the beads and back up the tube and out. Now, this is just added safety. This is the uh, Devilbis or Devilbis desiccant snake, and it is also filled with desiccant uh, beads in there. Originally, that's all I was going to use. But when I saw how bad my air quality was as I was sanding, I decided to go for the full system. So I will connect to the bottom of this actual air hose which I have a brand new one that I'll be using for painting it's only 25 feet and uh, on the end of that uh, or at the base of my spray gun I'll have a small inline uh, plastic filter that you can screw in so I'm thinking that this is probably going to manage all my water problems. Like it or not? Looks pretty good. Uh, you can probably see there's a, an arch here. You know this was an arch caused. It's not because I did this. It's from coupler to coupler. It arced a little bit. So I wanted my least amount of tension on this guy right here. I don't think having it a little farther down there is going to matter any at all. Well, there you go. There's your DIY desiccant filter system. 40 micron filter, 5 micron filter, 0 0.01 micron filter, and your desiccant beads. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll have more to come pretty soon. Take care, YouTube. And if you happen to hear any laughter in the background, that's my misbehaving kids back there that don't know when to be quiet.
You better be quiet. <laughs>